Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. As you probably know, over the past few years, Adobe has added some great new masking to Lightroom. What you may not know is that from the beginning, Lightroom has had some form of masking. And around Lightroom 4 or 5, there was a mask introduced that works wonders when you're dealing with an image such as this. An image that is just lit wrong. As you look at this, you can see that the tiger's face is kind of dark and the tiger's body is pretty bright. I'd rather have that reversed. Well, this old Lightroom mask could do this very easily. The mask I'm referring to is now called a radial gradient. When it was first added to Lightroom, it was called a radial filter. It really works the same exact way. They just changed the name. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to best use a radial gradient. Now, I mentioned I'd rather have the tiger's face bright and then probably the area around the tiger a little dark. So let's start there. Let's open up masking and let's grab a radial gradient. The way this works is you just draw an oval or a circle onto the image. And once you have it drawn, you could reposition it. Just grab this middle pin. You can move the sides and top and bottom in or out. For example, on this, I'd like to have this left side more over the body of the tiger. And if I grab it and move it to the left, you see it will move the right side equally. Well, the way to get around that is to hold the Alt or Option key in. And when you hold that key in, you could drag one side out independent of the other three sides. So that's one little trick for using the radial gradient. Now I have this drawn. Another little tip is you only could go so far like up. If you need to go further, what you could do is go to your left panel at the top and zoom out. And then you could just grab, let's say here, and you could go way up like that. So that's just a little tip to help you better use it. When you're done, just go back to fit and you're all set. Now you can see that as it's sitting now, there's a red overlay in the middle. That means that's the part that's going to be affected. I don't want to adjust the tiger's face. I want to adjust everything around the tiger. So what we need to do is go over here and click this little invert checkbox. Then what I'm going to do is go to the exposure slider and pull it down. That's all I'm really doing. And you always could come back in and readjust things. Move that over. So there. And that already looks a lot better. Now I want to add a second radial gradient because I mentioned I want to make the tiger's face brighter. So we're going to create a new mask. And again, we're going to do a radial gradient. Now this time I want to make it perfectly round. To do that, hold in the shift key as you draw it. And when you do that, you'll get a perfectly round radial gradient. So we'll go right over the tiger's face. And I do want to affect the middle, so I'm not going to click on invert. And we're going to go to exposure and just pop it up. And I could always come back in and kind of readjust things and reconfigure things a little bit. I'm taking it away from the circle, but that's okay. Now, let's see a before after. This is before I added these two radial gradients. And this is after. Before after. You can see that it does a tremendous job and it really changes the whole kind of feeling of the scene. Now, again, you always could come back in and readjust things. And if you need to like rotate something, just come outside of the, the um, overlay and then click and then you could like rotate this if I needed to rotate it like that. So here's before after again, there's before and there's after. There's before and there's after. So that is an old Lightroom tool that still is very useful. And hopefully these few tips I gave you in this video will help you better utilize it on your own images. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.